So welcome to this uh, talk. I'm happy that you have uh, decided to see this video. <coughs> Today's subject, of course, you know, many times when I present something, it looks out of the world. So what I'm trying to say, this is uh, this time is that you should have, as a student, you should have respect for your teacher. Nowadays, of course, this is. Uh, <laughs> not done because uh, of the influence of this new norm that everyone is equal. What I think you should understand is not everyone is not equal individually, but it is uh, in a limited way that we can understand this equality. One of the ways to of course say that equality of opportunity is always there. The constitution also says equality of status and uh, opportunity. So, as I have said earlier, I mean, uh, my lecture is equal for everyone, but when the marks come, they are not equal. That's the way we should understand equality. So, obviously, teacher is a person from whom you have to learn. So, he has to be at a higher level, at least in the uh, knowledge part. And normally, in his maturity of having lived a longer life, he definitely is a better uh, position to guide you. Now, why have respect for the teacher? See, most of the learning takes place through the mind. And mind actually needs to be given subtle um, directions. Why is the mind become ready to be receptive? So, when you have respect for the teacher, your attention is much better. <laughs> this is my personal experience also. I will tell you two stories from my life itself. One is I had uh, gone to a new place you know, and uh, there was a Swamiji, well-known Swamiji, attained person, master. So another local person took me to that uh, Swamiji. Of course, uh, I should give pronoun to that Swamiji. He is called Guru Padeshwara Swamiji from Bijapur. And then what happened is, uh, later somebody went and told Swamiji that uh, one person from Kerala has come here. So he asked who and then I said, <laughs> and here. So Swamiji asked, I don't remember in which language he asked, but he asked, have you understood uh, what is going on? Then I told him, Swamiji, I understood your speech very well, but when others spoke, I did not understand. And Swamiji's reply was, since you had tremendous respect for me, you listened carefully. <laughs> no, your mind was ready to listen more carefully. And since you did not have that regard for the other people who spoke, you were not that keenly listening. This is the first time I understood uh, this aspect. That if you have respect for somebody, your mind automatically will be better tuned to listen to that uh, person. Okay. So this is the first uh, time I came to think about it. That uh, respect for the teacher is not gain for the teacher, but gain for the student himself. The teacher probably doesn't get anything because you respect him. But definitely you are going to gain as a student. So, for a student, the respect for the teacher is an absolutely essential thing. Second experience of mine is like this. You know I have uh, taken my PhD from the University of Huddersfield in England. So, first time I went for my residential requirement, requirement And then um, we, with my professor, I spoke to so one day I was telling him. So, for a student to learn well, he should have respect for the teacher. My professor just shrugged his shoulder and said, maybe, may not be. All right. Then later, of course, I had gone to England for my wife. So then he suddenly tells me, Joshi, you know what you said, nothing is right. So what did I say? He had said, you know, students should have respect for the teacher if he has to understand something properly. I said, how come you have understood this now? 
So he says still uh, two years back, the students' uh, fees were paid by the government. And at that time, they used to show better respect to the teachers. And he also says they learned things much better and uh, they used to have deeper understanding of what is taught. Then he continues to say that now when the government has started paying the fees, they have lost respect for the teacher and their level of understanding has declined. Okay. So these are the two incidents from which you know this was more practically shown to me that respect for the teacher is conducive to your deeper levels of learning. Uh, so that's what I have to say today. I request all of you to subscribe to my channel. Because I should have said it in the beginning because I don't know how many of you would come till the end to listen to this. So thank you so much.